Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's say praise the Lord one more time. Amen, amen. I was glad when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Can you say praise the Lord, everybody? Amen. Those of you that are on the conference call line this morning, we say God bless you. Those of you that are on Facebook, which is many of us on today, we thank God for you as well. Bless you this morning, for this is another day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice. We shall be glad in it. Amen. I'm Reverend Ken Anderson. I'm the senior pastor at Dale and Lee Haven United Methodist Church in Middletown and Towns in Delaware. And today is Sunday, January the 9th, 2022. And it is what is referred to as Epiphany Baptism of the Lord Sunday. Amen. Now, if you heard our robocall on yesterday, you understand that Epiphany Sunday actually started, or Epiphany actually started last Thursday, January the 6th. So it kind of merged into what would have normally been the Baptism of the Lord Sunday. So today we're celebrating both throughout our churches, Epiphany and Baptism of the Lord Sunday. I want to thank God and welcome all of you that have joined us uh, this morning live on Facebook and on our conference call line. And once again on this Sunday, as we have done the last couple services here, uh, due to Omicron community surge and now the abundance of, of caution for all of our congregants who have so faithfully attended in-person worship, uh, we have a limited in-person worship service on this morning, which means that I am joined here this morning uh, by the Dale and Lee Haven ministry team, the First Lady, our soloist, Sister Mary Smith, and members of the Dale technology team who are with us on this morning. So we thank God for all of you. But like the great Apostle Paul, even though many of you are not here with us this morning, as Apostle Paul declared in Colossians chapter 2, verse 5, Though I am absent from you in the body, I am present with you in spirit and delight to see how disciplined you are and how firm your faith in Christ is on this morning. Amen. So we are glad all of you that have joined us online and on the conference call line again. As I said, this is Epiphany, Baptism of the Lord Sunday. The word Epiphany comes from the Greek and can be translated as the light that shines forth or simply the light that shines. Amen. Amen. My hope for all of us this morning is that we would all behold the light of Christ in our lives, especially as we enter into the beginning part of this new year. And that light would compel us like never before to have Christ as our priority in 2022 and that that light of Christ would spur us on to do the work of Christ during this brand new year. Is that all right? Amen, amen. Well, in just a few minutes, Dale's own minister Cain, David Cain, will be ministering the word of the Lord from Psalms 29, chapters verses, uh, ver chapter 29, verses 1 through 11, and he will be ministering from the text, the voice of the Lord. Amen. We look forward to hearing a word from the Lord through Minister Cain in just a few minutes. But at this time, I want to turn the furtherance of this worship service over to our worship leader for today, Lee Haven's uh, lay leader, Lee Haven United Methodist Church lay leader, and a preacher in her own right. Amen. Amen. A member of Dale and Lee Haven's ministry team, Minister Sherry Morrow. Let's say amen as amen. Minister Morrow comes to us at this time. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Praise the Lord. It's always good to be in the house of the Lord just one more time. Because, you see, you never know when it will be your last time. Amen? Amen? So let's just give God some praise, even in your living rooms on a conference call line. Just give him some praise for waking you up this morning, starting you on your way. Blessings unlimited. We just going to give him honor and glory in his house this morning. Amen? Amen? 
Um, we will now have an uh, opening prayer. Please bow your head wherever you may be. Most wise and loving God, it is once again we come before you, Father God, with expressions of love, Father, gratefulness, Father yes. God, thankfulness for all you have done for us yes. and all that you will continue to do. We thank you, Father God, in advance for what you're going to do. Oh, Father God, we give you honor and glory this morning. We also thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, and him crucified, Father God, that he thought it not robbery to come down to earth and save thine souls. So, Father God, now let us take his essence and go out into a dying world and tell somebody about Jesus and his saving grace. We thank you for all you do, Father God. You provide for us. You care for us. You continue to bless us, Father God. We fall in your favor, Father God. Father, we can do nothing without you. So, Father, give us a heart of love in this current new year that we may go out and, and into the world and treat our neighbors as if we wanted to be yes, treated yes, Father yes. God. Father we're living in some terrible times and some all kinds of things are going on but you know all Father God yes, so yes. Father God we just want you to know this morning that we trust in you yes, Father yes. God and we will forever continue to look to the hills from whence cometh our help realizing that it comes from you. Yes. Father God we love you this morning. We thank you, we praise you, we lift you up and magnify your holy name. And we ask all these blessings in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We will now have our greeting by uh, Dr. Devonia Williams Anderson as she comes forth. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Well, good morning, church family, and thank you, Minister Sherry. It, it is just always wonderful to be here in the house of the Lord. You know, it, it, we just don't take it for granted being able to get out of our homes and, and come to our place of worship. And whether you worship online and Facebook or whether you are on the conference call, it's just so important that we spend time to be together. Last week I said be encouraged and I'll say be encouraged again. You know God knows what we need yeah. before we know what we need yeah. and uh, this snowstorm has really been a blessing yeah. because it's keeping people in yeah. when we yeah. need to be in. Yeah. People, keeping people safe uh -huh. and confined when they need to be safe and uh -huh. confined. So yeah. praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Enjoy the service today. Amen. 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 Thank you, uh, Dr. Devana, for that greeting. Amen. We will now have our announcements. Uh, Youth Sunday School will meet today at 12 p.m. via Zoom. Topic of discussion, unlikely hope. If anyone is interested in joining the Youth Sunday School or Adult Sunday School and will be committed to attendance, please contact Associate Pastor Diane Wood at 215 313-8087. The Monday noonday hour of prayer continues to meet every Monday at 12 p.m. And this ministry is led by our very own Minister David King. If you have a, a prayer request that you would like presented during tomorrow's hour of prayer, please send those requests today to uh, Minister David King at his email address which is JesusMyHero3927 at gmail.com. And if you desire to listen in on the prayer call tomorrow, you can do so by dialing 425-436-6391. Access code 679-359. The reopening committee will meet next week to further evaluate the current Omicron surge conditions in our surrounding communities in the hope that we can return to regular in-person worship as soon as possible. Amen. Um, I have a, a couple of cards that I will be reading with thanks. The family of the late Edward Lee Woods of Dallas, Texas gives thanks to the pastor Usher, President and Ushers of Dale Memorial United Methodist Church, thank you for this condolence. 
Your kind words toward our loss gives us strength to overcome this hard situation. We truly appreciate the beautiful card you sent. It means so much to us. Sister Estella Woods and family. Greetings to everyone. I have a new address. It is 3304 Northwest 46th Place, Gainesville, Florida. Enclosed is a donation for the church. Thank you very much for your kind help in the past. And this is from Sister Carolyn Thomas. Amen. Amen. To our church family, may the shining star of Christmas continue to light up your life as brightly as it did on that first holy night. Love, Ernest and Iris Needham and family. Amen. Friends of Zor Incorporated. The Reverend Kenneth Anderson and congregants of Dale United Methodist Church, uh, P.O. Box 190, Middletown, Delaware. Acknowledgement of a Gift 2021. Dear Pastor Ken and members of Dale, on behalf of our Board of Trustees of Friends of Zor, we are so grateful for your contribution of $2,200, which benefits the Perot's preservation and new mission for this historic African-American house of worship. The opportunity for Friends of Zor to make a contribution to the cultural heritage of the Odessa and to the lower Newcastle County will require many hands and hearts. So as of December 30th, Friends of Zor, Inc. received notification of Federal 501c3 status making gifts tax deductible. Your input is valued. We look forward to the days and months ahead when the Friends of Zor can take the next steps towards ownership. With your help, we are one step closer to pursuing our goal. Your friend, Kate O'Donnell, Corresponding Secretary. Amen. Amen. So we continue to thank you for your ongoing support as we prayerfully continue to walk by faith and not in fear, receive wise counsel, and yet press through to do the work of impacting ministry in this involving env environment, okay? Yes. So um, we will be announcing going forward what the status will be of the uh, reopening of the church. Amen. So if you have any announcements for our Sunday service, please ensure that Associate Pastor Diane Wood receives them within a timely manner so she will have ample time to include them in our worship format. Uh, bereavement, continual prayer and support for Sister Bailey and family, Brother Joseph Archie and family, Brother Theodore Gillis and family, relatives of our very own lay leader, Sister Karen Jones. Um, you have our deepest sympathy. Um, we will now have prayer for the congregants, the sick, and the shut-in by Sister Karen Jones, Amen. which will be followed by the scripture reading, um, Associate Pastor Diane Wood, Psalm 29, 1 through 11. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Uh, let us also keep in prayer Sister Doris Waters as she recovers um, and Brother Theodore Gillis. If I omitted anyone, uh, please charge it to my head and not my heart. And if there is anyone that you know of that is sick or that may have had a death, please submit it uh, to Brother Kane, Sister Sherry, Pastor Woods, uh, Pastor Ken Anderson or myself or any any of our members here at Dale so that we may keep them on our prayer list. Amen. 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 And if you will, wherever you are, please go with me to the throne of grace. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Most gracious and wise God, Abba Father, who art in yes, heaven, yes. the God who sits high and looks low, our provider, our sustainer, our way maker, yes, our God. Mm. God, we come this morning before you 
as pillars for your people, God. We're calling on you, God, that you will stretch out your hands, Father God, that you will touch those that are sick in their bodies, Father God. Father God, we're praying right now that you will touch those who need a healing hand, Father God, those who may be sick in their minds, Father God. Father God, we ask that you will touch those who are lost, Father God, yes, yes. that you will guide them gently back into your fold, Amen. Father Thank God. You, Father, your word says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways, seek my face, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. Well, God, here we are. Yes, Lord. We are standing in your presence, God. We are calling on you, Father God, seeking your face, yes. God, because we have nobody else that we can turn to, God. Yes. We're asking that you will stretch out your hands, heal your land, God. Yes. There is so much sickness going on, Father God, yes. where doctors don't know what to do. Yes. We don't know what to do, God, but we know someone who does yes. father god so we're calling on you god right now in the name of jesus that you will heal your land begin to heal your people god that they may seek your face god ah, hallelujah god we thank you we thank you for all that you have done all that you are doing and that that you are going to do god we know you as a miracle worker so we depend upon you god and nobody else father god father god we ask that you will Touch the bodies, Father God. Touch their bodies, God. We know thousands of people, Father God, who are suffering right now with this Omicron variant, Father God. We ask that you will just touch them, God. Let them know, Father, that whatever the case may be, God, that they are safe in your arms, God. And for that, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you. Father, we pray right now for our congregation, God, yeah. that you will keep them healthy, Father God. That they will turn to you, Father God, when they have no one else to turn to, yes, God. Lord. God, we thank you. We thank you for our pastors. Thank you, God. Thank Pastor you, Ken, Pastor Diane, Father thank God, we you, thank God. you for our ministers, Father God, yes. who you, stand, God. Father God, on your word, Father yes, God, yes, and continue yes. to pray for your people. God, we ask that you will continue Lord, to lift them up, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, and we thank bless you, your holy name. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, yes. This morning I will be reading our scripture lesson from the book of Psalm, the 29th chapter, beginning with the first verse. And I will be reading from the NIV version, and it says, Ascribe to the Lord your heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in splendor of his holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. Yeah. The God of glory thunders. The Lord thunders over the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. Yes. The voice of the Lord is majestic. Yes, yes. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks in peace the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon weep like a calf, Syrian like a young wild ox. Yes. The voice of the Lord strikes with flashes of lightning. Yes. The voice of the Lord shakes the desert. The Lord shakes the desert of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord twists the oaks and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people yes, with peace. This is the word of God for the people of God. Let us all say. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you, Thank you for the word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Reverend Wood, for reading that scripture. Amen. We will now have our tithes and offering by the senior pastor, Ken Anderson. Um,
And we have a treat for you this morning, too. We're, we're going to have um, um, our, our solo by um, Pastor uh, Ken and um, Dr. Davana. And then you will hear the next voice you hear will be that of... Um, <laughs> next voice you hear will be that of Minister David King. <laughs> For CLF for um, Dale United Methodist Church. Amen? Amen. Amen. So uh, prepare to hear ye what the Lord has said this Amen. morning and what he will say to us. Amen? Amen. Everyone have a blessed day. Amen. <laughs> Say amen, everybody. As we prepare to receive our tithes and offerings for today and this coming week, it's so important for a little bit of reminder this morning as we enter into a new year, uh, this new year of 2022, when it comes to our stewardship. Because if you haven't noticed, when we look around at the world's economy and all the focus and challenges in the world's financial system, we clearly have come to understand why Christ talked more about money than he did about heaven and hell. Actually, he talked more about finances than he did about heaven and hell combined when you survey the New Testament. So we understand that in 11 of the 39 parables in the word of God, Jesus talked mostly about finances in those parables in some way, in some way he did. So we see when we study the word of God, what appears to be a kingdom of God financial system, and a, which is a heavenly based system. And we see another system, which is this world system, this world financial system. This world's financial system is based, as we've shared before, on buying and selling. Right, yeah. It has a limited number of resources, and we we found that out more than ever during this period of COVID and the pandemic. Mm -hmm. When you have supply ships that on, off of the coast of Long Beach that can't even uh, uh, disbark their, their goods. That has increased the scarcity of the system. And those limited number of resources are unfairly distributed. We have in this country less than 1% of the people, they're controlling 80% of the world's wealth. So it's a system based upon scarcity, not abundance, which places value on things and your value in the world seems to be based on how many of those things you're able to acquire. But the kingdom of God system works differently. It works on a principle of giving and receiving. Luke chapter 6 verse 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men and women give unto your bosom. And with the same measure, the same level of your giving you put out, it will be measured back unto you again. That's the God system. God's kingdom is based on abundance, overseen and managed by a God who is extravagant. Who has designed a city, the New Jerusalem, we read about in Revelations chapter 19 through 21, that is made out of transparent gold. Made out of gold that you can see through. God doesn't hold back when it comes to his kingdom or his people. Those of us that have aligned ourselves with God have access to all that God is and to all that God has in this world. And that same God desires to be in covenant with you and in covenant with me. Can you say amen? amen. Many of you renew that covenant and all that it entails on New Year's Eve. And then God said, put his, his thumbprint on it, saying, said I agree when he poured out his spirit in a very unique way that afternoon in this place. And it's our faithful, consistent stewardship as we go forward this year 
that is the best indicator in which one of these two systems you and I have placed our faith and our trust. So in this new year of 2022, like never before, find yourself operating under the blessing. Notice I didn't say blessings. Because if you can get under that blessing, the Abrahamic blessing, you'll get the blessings. Find yourself operating under the blessing in God's financial system with our faithful stewardship. And let's watch and behold how God continues to move supernaturally in our midst. Some of which I shared for last year on last week. How God continues to supernaturally move on our behalf throughout this year of 2022 and beyond. Can you say amen? amen? A word from the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. God is in our midst. If this is your first time with us this morning, either on Facebook or on the conference call line, and you're not a member of Dale or Lee Haven, that doesn't preclude you from giving. One of our largest gifts last year was from a member who doesn't even go to this church. Amen. But if God has placed it on your heart to bless this ministry, you can share your gift electronically through Cash App by contacting Sister Jane Archie at this phone number, 302-598-5516 for contributions to Dale. And for contributions to Lee Haven, you can reach out to Sister Cindy. You can contact her at 302 302- 653-7619. You can also mail your gifts, tithes, and offerings to the following addresses. For Dale, you can mail to Dale UMC, P.O. Box 190, Middletown, Delaware, 19709. For Lee Haven, you can mail those gifts to Lee Haven UMC, 413 Blackbird Landing Road, P.O. Box 279, Towns in Delaware, 19734. Amen. Amen. Will you pray with me over our tithes, our gifts, and our offerings at this time? Yes. Sovereign God, we are at the early part of 2022, and we thank you for the reminder of stewardship that you've given us on today as we position ourselves once again to be a blessing to the body of Christ, to be a blessing to your church, and to operate and your kingdom, your financial kingdom. Lord, we want to be a part of the best that you have to offer. And we want to be fully aligned with you in every area of our life. We want to be aligned with you spiritually, socially, mentally, physically, and financially. And Lord, sometimes we struggle in a, a couple of those areas, but particularly when it comes to our money. Lord, help us to realize, and this economy is forcing us to realize it, but the only true faith in our resources, in our welfare, when it comes to our finances, has to come from you. We can't trust in man. We can't trust in the government. We can't trust in those other resources. At the end of the day, Lord, we have to put our hope and our trust in your system, your system of finances. Lord, your system that says, I'll give back to you. Not 2% like the banks, but I'll give back to you that are in line with, with me some 30-fold, some 60-fold, and some 100-fold. If you just trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding when it comes to our finances. In all of your ways, acknowledge me. And if you acknowledge me when it comes to that which God puts in your hands, then I will bless you. I will bless you coming out. I will bless you going in. I will bless your basket. I will bless your store. Everything you set your hands to do for my glory, I will cause it to be blessed. If you just trust in me, if you just put your financial trust in me, this world's economy is in a difficult situation. But I will prove myself strong to those of you that continue to be faithful when it comes to the seed that I put in your hands. I don't hold you accountable for what you don't have, but I will hold you accountable for what is blessed to come into your hands. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've shared with us in the spirit when it comes to financial 
You've blessed us beyond our ability to fully understand it. And we appreciate you so much. We continue to be faithful. We will continue to be faithful in this important area of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Let everybody say amen and amen and amen. Well, we weren't the scheduled soloist for today, but Sister Mary Smith was. And if Miss Sister Mary Smith was here today, one of the songs I know she loves to sing. We're not going to sing the whole thing because the preacher's getting ready, but we'll just sing a couple verses. I'll sing a little bit if I can. My voice is about to go out, and I brought your first lady up here. We say she likes to sing this more than me. But we'll just give you a little flavor of how we're feeling on this Amen. Epiphany Baptism Amen. of the Lord Sunday. I started off first, lady, okay. because it's what I still have. You know what I still have? Is it joy? It's joy. It's joy. Why? <laughs> because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes. When I get weak, the joy of the Lord is my strength. When I get depressed, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Absolutely. When I can't hardly walk because my knee hurt, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes, That's is. why I still have joy. Yes. I still have joy. I still have joy. After all the things we've been through, still have joy. We still have joy. We still have joy. Still have joy. After all the things we've been through, we still have joy. Join in, y'all. We still have joy. We still have joy. After all the things we've been through, we still have joy. We still have joy. We still have joy. After all the things we've been through, we still have about peace. How about peace? We still have peace. We still have peace. After all the things we've been through, we still have peace. We still have peace. We still have peace. After all the things we've been through, we still have poor joy back. We still have faith. We still have faith. After all the things we've been through, we still have faith. Do you still have faith? Still have faith. We still have faith. After all the things we've been through, we still have joy. Round it up. Joy. Still have joy. We still have joy. After all the things we've been through, we still have joy. We still have joy. We still have joy. After all the things we've been through, we still have joy. We still have joy. First lady tried to get all fancy on me at the end there. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. I still have it, y'all. I pray that you do as well. And without further ado, the word of the Lord is coming to us. I pray that you get your Bibles and you read along with that passage of scripture from Psalms 29 verses 1 through 11. Minister David Cain is coming to us at this time. Say amen, amen. as the minister comes with the word of the Lord. God bless you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Come on, church. Let somebody just give God a hand clap. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. To God be the glory. Always giving God the glory. Because it had not been for him. What? On our side. Where will we be this morning? Where will we be? So we truly don't take it for granted. Yes, every chance we get, we give God all the glory and yeah. honor and praise. Bless his holy name. Yeah. Yes, to God be the glory. To, today is the 9th of January of 2022. We're approximately nine days of 10 hours and 36 minutes. <laughs> In approximately 40 seconds. Let the record reflect. <laughs> praise God. I praise and thank God for you, you, and you. First, give an honor to God and my Lord and personal Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life. I continue to identify him as my personal hero. Mm -hmm. Giving honor to my senior pastor, 
Reverend Ken Anderson and his helpmate, Dr. Devana, to our associate pastor, Reverend Diane Wood, to our Dale and Lee Haven ministerial staff, yeah. Minister Sherry Morrow and Sister Karen Jones. Yes, Lord. In the absence of our soloist, so I'm going to continue to put the icing on the cake for Reverend Kent Anderson and Dr. Devana for bringing us that heartfelt solo this morning. What a joy we have in Jesus. To my wife, Sister Emily Kane, in her absence, and to the entire Viren participants, to our communication personnel is on hand this morning. Yes, we praise and thank God for the whims being here with us. Yes, doing what says the Lord, communication. So we praise and thank God for them. Yes, those that are at home, whatever, wherever you're at, wherever you may be this Sunday morning. Some may be tuning in on Facebook, yeah. social media broadcasting. Some may be listening in on our church conference call line, telecommunication. If this is your very first time listening in, whether Facebook or broadcasting on our church conference call line, it's my prayerful desire is that you will be blessed set free, delivered, spiritually awakened, and come back to us at perhaps another time yeah. on a Sunday morning when we right. come back to normalcy to worship with us. Yeah. Could you join us live in person? Yes, the Bible says how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in yeah. unity. Yes. Now, while protocol has been established, I don't want to take this affordable opportunity for granted because for me personally, Dr. Devana, the work of the Lord Jesus is not beyond this pulpit. Uh -huh. Giving a lecture or preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Yes, that's why my senior pastor, Reverend Ken Anderson and Associate Pastor Diane Wood, that's their great responsibility. I'm called to do the work outside of the walls of the church. All right. Yes, why it is still day, Pastor. Still yes, day. there will come a time no man. that man cannot work. work. Yes, I want to yield just for a brief moment of solace in silence of prayer for the Philadelphia fire victims, family members yes, yes. Mm -hmm. that are deeply saddened for the loss of their loved ones yes. perishing in a devastating fire. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, Please let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, my rock and my hero, and let the church say amen. amen. Yes, amen. Church family, if the good Lord will be my helper this morning, I'll be ministering to you from the theme, the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. The Holy Scripture was already read uh, in your hearing this morning. The book of Psalm, the 29th division of Psalm, verses 1 through 11. But church family, I just want to focus and direct your attention on verse 11. The very last verse. The very last verse reads, it says, the Lord will give strength. The Lord will give strength to his people. Mm -hmm. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Yeah. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Those that are under the sound of my voice this morning, those that made Jesus and accept him as their Lord and personal Savior over their life,
knows that when your back is up against the wall, when you feel like you can't go no further, when the chips are down in your life, when you enter that very dark and cold place, that he will give you strength. He will give you strength. I don't know about you, but I'm preaching to somebody this morning. But the psalmist write that the Lord will give strength to his people and the Lord will bless his people with peace. Philippians 4, 7 says to us, And the peace which pass surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and minds uh, through Christ Jesus. Yes, the psalmist speaks about strength to God's people. I'm wondering this morning, could the prophet Isaiah, pastor, uh -huh. the son of Amos, uh, be bearing God's word uh, when he writes in the 40th chapter of Isaiah, uh, starting at the 29th verse, he gives power to the weak. Lord, and to those who have no might, he increased strength. Yes. Verse 30 says that even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men uh, shall utterly fall. But finally, the verse of chapter 40 reads, but let me hear someone say, but. but. I said, let me hear someone say, but. But, but those who wait on the Lord, huh, shall he renew their strength. Yeah. They shall mount up. They shall mount up like wings, like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I don't know about you, but who is God is talking to this morning? But are you listening? The voice of the Lord. I see your pastor, Reverend Harrison, ministered to us the second Sunday. The second Sunday after Christmas, which was the first Sunday of the new year of 2022. With a theme, do not fear. I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. I am your God. Are you listening? Have no fear because Jesus Christ is here. Yes, the United Methodist Church, the United Methodist Church Discipleship Ministry of 2022, the lectionary, uh, Reverend Wood Calendar, it, it spells out for the second Sunday, January the 9th, uh, gives us a reference or bring our attention uh, to several scriptures for today. One of the scriptures from Isaiah 43, verses 1 through 7. Psalm 29, uh, yes, verses 1 through 11. Or the United Methodist hymnal, page 761. Or Acts 8, 4, 17. And finally, Luke 3, 15, 17, 21, and 22. Speaks all about today and being of one accord with the United Methodist denomination. It also speaks, it speaks about baptism. Yes, it speaks about John the Baptist baptizing his first cousin. Oh, I don't think you are hearing me. John the Baptist was the forerunner. Yes, but with heartfelt discernment, Pastor, and yes, ability to judge well, seeking God's final approval. On what says the Lord for this Sunday, and after much prayer and your approval, Reverend Anderson, uh, yes, God never makes a mistake. No, I pray, I pray, I pray that somebody will stop and listen to the voice of the Lord uh, in 2022. Right. Those that are visiting us through Facebook or on the church conference call line, because uh, we are shut in. Yes, I can hear you this morning because I am muted. Yes, so you can you can hear me, but I can't hear you. But if the shoe fit, you can say, ouch. It'll be just all right. All right. 
Because God is with you. No one is exempt. God is attempting to get all of our attention in 2022 from the pulpit to the vestibule. None of us has arrived. None of us has arrived. We all fall short. Of the glory of God according to Romans, Dr. Devana, Romans 3.23 said, For we all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Church, it's time for us to stop and listen to the voice of the Lord. There are many voices that are trying to get our attention every day on a daily basis. Right now, even so, there's a voice. Is trying to get your attention. Trying to distract you from hearing the word of God being brought forth. Jeffy Dahmer, also known as the Milwaukee Monster, was an American serial killer and sex offender who committed the murder and dismemberment of 17 men and boys between 1978 and 1991. Jeffrey Dahmer, after dismembering the bodies, would freeze them and go back later to consume them on time. Jeffrey Dahmer died in prison November the 28th of 1994. The voices that he was hearing was not of the Lord. Not in a million years or a zillion years. Yes, the stop sign is red. That means stop. Stop running red lights. The voice of the Lord cries out in the wilderness. Are you listening this morning? Who voice are you listening to? Young people, who voice are you listening to? Reverend Diane Wood ministered to us three months ago. And one of her bullet points was... Flip Wilson, the devil made me do it. The devil made me do it. Church, listen, once the act is committed, it's just like social media. Once it's out there, you can't take it back. Food for thought. The voice of the Lord. Church, just a small example. I was getting ready for a doctor's appointment on this past Wednesday. Yes, this past Wednesday, it was around 7 a.m. I was pressing off my shirt and the Lord voice came upon me and said, stop and listen to me. So I stopped and I put down an iron and ran to my dresser for a pen and paper to start recording and writing down. I knew I had to preach on Sunday, so I figured that he had something for me to write down. Keep in mind, I still had to finish ironing. I had to shave, I had to shower and get dressed. And not to say a 30 minute drive to my doctor's appointment. Yes. God didn't care about my doctor's appointment. He just wanted my attention. I said he reminded me that he is the great doctor physician. Dr. Flo, are you listening this morning? God reminded me about the sheep gate. Come on, y'all. He reminded me about the sheep gate in Bethesda. That which had five porches. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus uh, is talking to someone this morning. We serve a good God. He kept reminding me of the multitude of the sick. The blind people, the lame and those that are paralyzed. Waiting for the movement of the water. For when the angel of the Lord, yes, stare up the water, whoever steps into the, one of the pools first, according to the gospel of John chapter 5, they was made whole. But whatever diseases uh, he or she had, uh, yes, they was made whole. But there was a man. There was a man that had an infirmity for 38 years. 
waited at the pools and everyone kept jumping in front of him pastor yeah, yeah. it's just like us today yes yeah. always want to be first yeah. yes but he stayed there at the pool no one would let him in uh -huh. but up jumped jesus mm -hmm. jesus came to his rescue i don't know who i'm talking to this morning yes but jesus came to his rescue yeah just like he comes to our rescue. Jesus came by and saw what was taking place. Jesus told the man with the infirmity of 38 years. Uh, he said rise. He said rise up. Yes. Take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole. Yes. That's the God that we serve. God. The word of God says immediately not tomorrow. But immediately, I don't know, I don't know, Minister Morrow, who I'm talking to this morning, uh, but just listen to the voice of the Lord. I told God in my spirit, uh, I am going to be late. He answered right back to me and said, uh, how many of you know that the spirit of the Lord dwells in you? But he reminded me, he said, you know, uh, what you have been doing all this time. He said use wave. Like you always do. Mm -hmm. That app. Breaking Caesar's law. He told me. Yes that wave let you know. That the police are up ahead. Not to mention that new radar detector. You just purchased. I said my my my. <laughs> I said Lord. <laughs> don't shoot. I'm already wounded. <laughs> I tell you, we serve some kind of God. That's why I identify him as my hero. He always rescued me, watching over me, and telling me uh, just what I need right on time. Yes, the point of what I'm trying to make is for me to stop and listen to him. Wes, what I was doing and listening to him, somebody need to hear that this morning, Pastor. Yeah. God knows all things. Yes, he, does. he could have been stopping me or slowing me down for whatever reason that morning. The Bible says, Samuel said, has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices. And in obeying the voice of the Lord, uh, behold, to obey is what? Better than sacrifice. Yes. And I heed the fat of the rams. 1 Samuel 15, 22. I learned throughout my spiritual journey, never fall asleep when the word of God is being ministered. Jesus said many times throughout the gospel of Matthews, Mark, and Luke, he who has an ear pastor, let him hear. This is not just some generic statement for, hey, everybody, listen up. He is calling for the people in 2022 to be careful and take heed. Matthew eleven fifteen Revelation 2 and 29. The former NBA basketball legend Michael Jordan mm -hmm. had a documentary, Last Dance. It's a very exclusive documentary on his basketball career. I believe that Michael Jordan uh, wanted the story to be told why he was alive. So that he would be able to set the record straight. I often think about my last dance. I hope and pray that my last dance documentary on earth. Will only please God. And not man. Because you can never please man. So stop trying to please man. And hear the voice of the Lord. John the Baptist came preaching repentance. He stated, one come after me. I'm not worthy to tie the straps on his sandal. He reminded me in the word 
of that special epiphany when Elizabeth, yes, was filled with the Holy Spirit and said, you are the most blessed of all women and blessed is the child you will bear. She went on to say that her baby jumped with gladness and the sound of Mary's voice, Luke 1, 39 and 45. Pastor, that was a special epiphany. But John, John reminds us that he came preaching repentance, the first cousin of Jesus Christ. And his man was ready to baptize, and he baptized him in the Jordan River. The account describes how he emerged from the water and Jesus saw the heavens open the Holy Spirit descending yeah. upon him. Y'all know what the word says. God said like a dove. He has heard a voice from heaven and said, you are my beloved son. Yes. You I am well pleased yes. with. Church, we have to stop and continue to listen to the voice of the Lord. Mm -hmm. My wife all often tells me, all you know is church and football. She didn't hear me, but I said in my spirit, Pastor, <laughs> in the last past 48 months, I have attended many funerals. And many home-going celebrations. Yeah. Listen to what I'm saying. I have attended many funerals and many home-going celebrations. Yeah. There's a difference. There's a difference. A funeral is those that didn't have hope. Mm -hmm. A home-going celebration that it's the celebration of life because they go on to see the master. Yeah. Absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I wanted to tell her, I'm trying to get to heaven. I'm trying to get to heaven. There's something when you are in that special place with the presence of the Lord being with you. I don't think she hear me on the fourth watch of the night at 3 a.m. Uh, when I'm in my private closet. It's a feeling that's undescribable. Uh, when I say, I'm Father, uh, who are in heaven, uh, I don't be thy name. Yes, when I say, Lord, it's me, oh Lord, uh, standing in the need of prayer. She don't know the joy that I get. Yes, yeah, she don't know the joy uh, when I'm here all by myself. Uh, in the sanctuary here and I get down and knee at the altar she don't know the joy because why it's therapy to me I say it's therapy to me one Lord one faith one baptism yes I'm trying to get to heaven yes if you don't know it you don't know it ask me ask me ask me I would show you the way as being a vessel Listening to the voice of the Lord. Yeah. And before I close, I just want to tell you about listening to the voice of the Lord, Sister Darlene. Just left the marketplace on 299 in Middletown, the Acme. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And after I left Acme, I got my goods and departed the parking lot. And I normally go straight on and down. 299, that's a military thing. Yes, yes. Right? And 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 doing your compass and yes. and mapping out your embarkation to your demarcation, yes. right? Yes. Uh the quickest way, uh, Dr. Devana, uh, yes, and Karen, uh, the quickest way is a straight direction. Yes. So my route normally goes straight on down 299. Uh -huh. But listening to the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord told me to turn down New Street uh -huh. and then turn and come past the church. Come past the church. The Bible says we, we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Yes, Emily can testify to this. She was in the car. Get down here to the church. I see, I see a paper bag outside of the church. Uh -huh. A large paper bag. So I tell her, I said, somebody must have dropped off a bag of food. Mm -hmm. I said, I better go and, uh, and retrieve this bag of food uh, and take it in the inside uh, 
Because if it rain or snow, the goods won't be no more good. So as I exit my car and uh, come to pick up the bag uh, that was left outside the church, I now as I feel, I said, this don't feel like no canned goods. Pick it up, feel like clothes in it. And Lord have mercy. So I look at the label on it, and it says, Miss Heaven, 132 Lockwood Street. Lockwood Street is the next street over. Uh -huh. So I grabbed the bag and put it in my car and put the location in my phone and the register of where this location is at. I went around to Lockwood Street and knocked, knocked on the door and some woman's voice said, who is it? I said, minister came from the church around the corner. I had to identify myself. So she opened up the door and I said, this bag was left outside the church. She said, oh my goodness. She fell to her knees and cried like a baby. Mm. And the reason being, it was all her baby's clothes that she was waiting for since Christmas mm. that was misdirected in the back of the mail. But that goes to show you the point is that I listened to the voice of the Lord. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. He told me to turn down New Street and come down past the church. Yes. Now just imagine that I was disobedient to his voice. Just imagine if I ran in real life and didn't come down. The clothes could have fell in the hands of a wrong precipitant. Yes. 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 She waited for these clothes. She just gave birth to an infant. Mm -hmm. And that was all she had. To clothe her baby. Church, the point is, is that we have to stop and listen mm -hmm. to what is God is telling us. We don't know. It could save your life. Yes, yes, it could save someone else's life. Or you may be a blessing to someone else, just like I was a blessing to her by retrieving that bag. Saints, we are in a new year. We have seen devastation and we also seen miracles throughout the last past 48 months. Yes. But I don't know, I don't know what's going to take place, Pastor, in 2022. So like I told my wife, within my spirit, I'm trying to get to heaven. And so from here on out, listen, the Bible says forget those things that are behind. I press forth what? Towards the mark. Towards the mark of the whole call of God in Christ Jesus. Yes. None of us has arrived. All my skeletons have been buried. Oh, y'all don't hear me. I said all my skeletons has been buried. Yes. God forgave me, so who are you not to forgive me? Yes. Oh, I don't think y'all hear me. That's what the Pharisees and the scribes was. They stood out, pastor, in the marketplace with delicious boxes hanging around their neck, quoting scriptures. But in the middle of the night, they was going around the back door trying to capsize the widow. Church, it's time to stop playing church. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. I don't know. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but... God, God put this word in my spirit to bring forth. Yeah. God is trying to get somebody attention, Before even my attention. Before it's, too late. Before it's too late. Because why? You already know the story about the rich man and the poor man. Come on now. The poor man was, oh, my, 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 was taken and just tossed to and fro, wouldn't even wasn't allowed to eat a crumb from off the rich man's table. Come on now. But what? That, 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 that the rich man died and went to Hades. And the poor man went to Abraham's bosom. But the rich man cried out, let me have a cold glass of water. 
Just don't get to chip yes, Pastor. Just to cool off my tongue. And then he said, well, if you can't do that, how about go and tell Uncle Joe, Uncle Tom, and Aunt Mary, go, yeah, don't come down here because it's hot. It's hot down here. But Jesus stepped in and said, even if I wanted to give you a cup of water to cool off your tongue, there's a gulf. There's a gulf. Once you cross all that, oh Jesus, you can come back. I have a daughter. I have a grandson. I have siblings that I don't want. Jesus to say there's a gulf. Oh, y'all don't hear me, church. Somebody need to hear the voice of the Lord this morning. It's Tom. Tom is running out. You see what happened? Over a hundred years ago, another virus hit this side of the Jordan River on the streets of Philadelphia. When the soldiers came home from World War I, they were stoned, don't have no parade, but they ignored the voice of the Lord and had the parade anyway. And that Monday, over 40,000 people perished. Because the Spanish virus. The Bible says nothing new under the sun. Nothing new. And back then there's no one right now that's living to witness it. But it's documented. So when God tell you to stop. He means stop. Oh church. I wish I had more time. But time to strength. I am Minister David King. And I approve of this message. Let's give God a hand clap. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Don't go too far. Don't go too far, Minister King. We've heard from the Lord on this morning. Facebook family. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise right where you are. Amen. I don't know how you could hear this message and not want to figure out how to make sure you hear and respond to the voice of the Lord. The scripture says that my sheep know my voice and a stranger they will not follow because we're living in a time where there's a lot of voices out there. And there's voices that are camouflaged Jesus. to be a voice that tries to convince you to listen to what it has to say. Yes. But the Lord said, my sheep know my yes. voice. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you can learn to hear God's voice. Yes. The enemy is not going to tell you to do something most times that, that, that is good. Oh, oh, my, my. Sometimes you think you think it's just you. That wants you to go back and and uh -huh. and pick up that piece of trash you left on mm. on the on the table. Yeah. I, I had to learn to hear God's voice, Come on, man. and I would hear things like, "Go pick up that toothpick you just left on the floor." Yeah. I said, you know, I would say that's just me talking, but God was training me to hear Him oh. and the divers and sundry things. Yeah. That I might really be able to hear his voice when it really meant something. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. So, I just can't tell you how important the message was that we heard this morning to be obedient to the voice of God. To practice responding to God. You might just think as you think, talking to yourself. But if it's good, just do it. Just do it anyway. Because God is training you to hear his voice. And sometimes you might do something thinking it's God's voice. And it might just be you thinking about yourself. Because we have our own ways of living. We know what to do right in and of ourselves. But God is training us to hear his voice. Because of the time that we live in. We're knowing God's voice. And being able to differentiate from all the other voices we're hearing out there might mean your life. And God has spoken to somebody today. Through this message, God has spoken to 
to you this morning about your life, the way you're living, about what God has called you to do in 2022. Something that you don't need to be convinced of this morning because you already knew. And all you heard this morning was confirmation. We pray that after hearing this word from the Lord, the voice of the Lord, that you would not wait another minute, another second to do what God has called you to do. That you would respond to God so God can respond to you from this moment forward. We're going to ask Minister Kane to come back to us and just briefly pray over this Facebook audience. Those of us, the few of us that are here in person here at Dale and those of you on the conference time. Minister Kane is coming at this time. Amen. Yes. Praise be unto God. Those who know the power of prayer, pray with me. Yeah. Our Father and our God, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, once again, O oh God, we come back at your throne of grace this morning, O oh God, through our Lord and personal Savior, Jesus Christ. The one is the seated at the right-hand side of you, O oh God. The one that laid down his life at Calvary of Golgotha. O oh God, we enter your courts and gates with thanksgiving and praise. O oh God, you promised us that your word would not return back void unto you. O oh God, we don't know, O oh God, who that word was meant for. But O oh God, I start with myself right now in the name of Jesus. Please forgive me, O oh God, for running red lights. Please forgive me, O oh God, when you told me to stop, I didn't stop. But O oh God, I stand in a gap. O oh God, for many this morning, O oh God. Yeah. Oh God, let your word, oh God, fall afresh yeah. on someone, oh God, that has been ignoring your voice. Yeah. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. And oh God, your word reminds us that your grace is sufficient, yeah, sufficient. and your mercy endures to all generations. Yeah. You, oh God, you remind us that you show no partiality. Right. What you've done for David and Abraham and Isaac yeah. and Jacob. Oh, God, you said you would do it for me. Yeah. I thank you this morning, oh, God. We thank you, oh, God. We bless your holy name, oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the word. Yes, Lord. And now, oh, God, as we give the benediction. Yes, Lord, please be with us. Yeah. Please keep us, oh, God, in 2022. Yeah. Oh, God, we're only nine days into this year. Oh, God, there's much, much more time to cover. But, oh, God, we bless your holy name for Jesus. We can't thank you enough, oh, God. Yeah. And as the people of God assemble here in this sanctuary, can you please stand to receive the benediction? Hallelujah. And wherever you're at in your place, you can stand, too. That's being obedient because I'm only a vessel. And God is just using me as a microphone to bring forth his word. Yeah. We're only epistles that some folks may ever see. We thank you, O God. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory yeah. with exceedingly joy. Yeah. To God our Savior. Who alone is wise, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, yes. both now and forever. And let all God's children say amen, 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 amen. 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 Peace amen. be with you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Thank praise God. God. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. What a mighty God.